In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to the Tidio live chat and AI chat box Shopify app. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get started as a complete beginner. So let's get right into it. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is click the link in the description. It should take you to this page here. And from here, you want to click on the install button. When you click install, install it's going to go ahead and take you to your Shopify store. And now we can go ahead and press on the install button here. And it should be installed on our store and ready to go. So now it's going to ask us to create an account and we can just use our email and a password to get started. So just put those in and press get started. Once we've done that, it's going to bring us some onboarding questions like first of all, what is our name? So just put your name in there. It's going to ask us what our job role is. So I'm just going to put founder, maybe put what you are. It's going to ask you what you want to do. So how you want to interact with customers. So just select the ones that are applicable. So I'm going to say website, WhatsApp, email, Instagram, Facebook Messenger. And I'm going to press next. It's going to ask you for your industry. So I'm just going to say restaurants and food. It's going to ask you for your company size. I'll say only me. How many inquiries you get per month. I'll just put that. And where has your shop, uh, store been built? For us, it'll be Shopify. I'm going to press next. And then I'm going to go over to the next section. So I'm just playing around. Um, what you're currently using. I'll just put other. Um, where do you learn about it? And is it the first time using it? So now once we're ready to go, it's going to ask us what we'd like to configure first. This is completely up to you, but I'm going to do the live support one as this is probably the most common reason people are watching this video. So let's press let, let's go and it will take us to the next page. So it says your seven day trial is started. So just press let's go and we're ready to start the setup. So we have to install it onto our website. Um, make sure we've done that. So to go ahead and do that, we're going to go onto our Shopify store. Once we're in our store, we want to go to online store over here. We want to go to themes and then we want to go over to customize. And this is where we're going to basically turn on the app inside of our store. So go to app embeds and you should see the Tidio chat widget here. You want to turn that one off, on even, you want to turn it on and you want to turn off any other widgets that might interfere with this. So I have another widget down there called uh, translator and you can see it kind of got in the way so I've just turned it off but this is what the widget will look like so I'm going to go ahead and press save and we're ready to go to the next step so we've completed this step now um, I'm just going to press complete and it's going to go ahead and check it for us to make sure that we've done it it might take a few seconds you might have to click into here for them to sort of register it um, but once you've done that it should show up here that it's activated so now that we've done that, it doesn't matter if it's got a tick mark or not. We're going to go over to the review a welcome message. So we're going to press the customize your message here. And we're going to go ahead and actually customize what is said. So here they have a ton of different um, sales flows. They've also got lead flow support flows. It depends what you're looking for, really. So this one here is going to um, help people uh, not abandon their cart, essentially. But if you want to have like a support flow, you can go ahead and do that here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just set up the um, sales flow here. I'm going to try this one here. And for my first message, it's going to say your order is almost complete. Why did you abandon cart? I'm going to press save and then it's going to give them a 15% discount um, after that. And we're just going to put a coupon code in there, save 15. We're going to activate that. So this is going to be the flow that I'm going to use on my store. Now, for some reason, it still hasn't realized that it's activated. Don't worry about it. It doesn't actually matter if they realize or not. Next thing, it wants us to go ahead and take a tour around the inbox. So we can just press the take tour if we want to. Um, it's just going to show you where everything is. Um, you can skip through it or you can look, look at it. But essentially, it's just going to show you all the different conversations you have open um, and that kind of thing there. Now, we can go back again and it's going to take us to this page here. And we want to go ahead and connect our mailbox. So to do this, we're going to connect with a new email or an existing one. It's up to you. And you just want to put your email address in there. Depending on the email address that you've put in there, the provider, it's going to ask you to select the provider. And it's going to give you some instructions here on how you can actually go ahead connecting it up. But essentially, you're going to have to do some forwarding settings, um, just a lot of stuff like that. Um, it can be a little bit complicated to get started, but it's not too bad if you follow the instructions closely. So I'm just going to press done and there we go. It should have verified our email if we've done this correctly. We can also go ahead and add our sender email. We can add the same one if we want to. Um, we can add some automatic responses too. 
So now that we've basically gone through all of their startup guides, we just have to add the domain. So just press connect domain. And for that, we just want to go ahead, put in our domain, and we'll have to do the DNS settings. But it's very simple to do. Um, it's not much hassle. So from here, we can go over to the dashboard. And the dashboard is has all of your information in it, essentially. Um, it's going to show you your flows, your customer support, your AI bots, your campaigns, basically how everything's working, um, and that kind of thing there. Now we can go over here to the inbox section here. And on the inbox section, we can go ahead and, as I said, look at all of our conversations we've got. But what you'll notice here is you can also integrate this with other things like WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, and stuff like that. So we can go ahead and click on the WhatsApp integration, for example. We can press integrate, and it's going to show you how to do it here. It's very simple to do. Uh, just follow the steps on screen, and you'll be able to integrate it with your WhatsApp. Now, alongside this inbox setting, we also have our operators here. So this is our AI operator. Uh, who will basically help you with um, answering questions. So you can go ahead and you can set this all up. Uh, you can add your URL, that kind of thing in there. And it's basically going to start learning from your website and be able to answer questions pretty simply. So it's pretty cool to do. There's lots of um, stuff you can add to it. So you've got to add knowledge to it. So it will basically scrape your website, look for knowledge like in your uh, FAQs, that kind of thing. Uh, it'll You can just test it out, activate it, and then you can review and answer the questions, which it will then use again uh, in the future. So it's a pretty good um, bot that kind of learns as it goes along. Uh, you've got the playground here where you can test it out. Uh, you've got tasks, you can configure it here, and you've got your analytics. Next up we have our flows here. So the flows are like the strategies we just spoke about. So I've done a sales flow, but you could do um, you know, a lead one or a support one. And it's really up to you what you do here. Depends the needs of your uh, store essentially. A lot of people will be needing support flows, so you can do this one here. And basically, when someone messages you, it's just going to say, sorry for keeping you waiting, we'll be back as soon as possible. And you basically use this template and configure it, and uh, yeah, get it to your liking. We've also got stuff like FAQs here, so when somebody asks you a question, it's going to give you some uh, pop-up answers that they can click on. So this is quite a cool one, but you can just go through here and... Um, just test out which ones work for you. Like this one's repetitive answers, so if they're asking how to track their order, you can go and do that automatically. Now you just want to make sure that it's actually working on your store, so go to your store, just view it, and go and check that the widget is actually showing on the bottom right, and it is here. And you can see this is the widget here, so now if I type into it, depending on what I type, it should go through with the different flows that I spoke about here. Um, you have your campaigns here, which are pretty self-explanatory these are just like one-time sends you have your customers and then you have your analytics here so you can see how it's actually doing um, here you have your integrations very easy to do you can just click on those and then you've got some settings here if you need them but that's basically how you use TDO with Shopify if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe comment down below that helped and if you have any other questions about this or another topic let me know and I'll try to cover it thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one